everyone, my name is Irena Tirakubo. Today I want to talk about what's in my gig bag, what's in my saxophone case when I go to gig. I will show you some maybe useful tips about what you should carry when you go on the gig. I hope you enjoy. I'm thinking to make another video about different kinds of cases, but I will focus on my current case, which is Marcus Bona. This case is in Brazil, from Brazil, and I love it so far. It looks like this. So I think one of the most important item in your bag other than your instrument is the calorie bar. I've had so many experience. I went to the gig assuming there is going to be a food, but oh, the dinner is not until after the gig or between the sets. So I end up being so starving. And if there is a convenience store next door, great. But if you are on tour, middle of nowhere, this would be your life saving. So next item is this one. So lately I've been filming on for social media and this uh, iPhone stand can attach to the music stand microphone stand or any surface so i can just clip it and then film it perfectly and i really like this because it's very steady so i recommend it says elite elite food uh, i bought on amazon okay so next item i don't usually use this but this is a powder paper so if your pads are sticking you can you can like remove the stickiness by putting extra power uh, no, powder on your pads but somehow the pads become powdery looks white powder it's like baby powder on it i'm not so sure i don't like it but if i have to i i will use this okay so this is very important to me this is a musician's earplug when i was in berkeley i was looking for the earplug that fits your ear perfectly and I found out Northeastern University has a lab and you can go and get your like make your own ear shape like they put some glue thing on your ear in your ear and make the shape of your inside of your ear and make um, earplug and there is a filter inside and you can choose how much you want to hear so you can choose thick filter or thin filter I forgot the numbers but I have the thinnest filter because I want to hear the acoustic too I prefer not to use this because it changes how I hear but sometime in the situation like I'm doing like a rock band or those situations that the speaker is blasting I put this in my ear and it, it protects your hearing so I think it's very good I think I believe they had a uh, student discount so you should if you are student you should check that out too um, but it was about five years ago so I'm not so sure but I'm sure you can 
get it. it but it was expensive like two hundred dollars with the discount okay so next item is this one do you know what this is so this is a flute stand it's very light very compact it's like bigger pen or marker but you can this make this as a flute stand it's very nice i think you can get this any local music store and it's not so expensive it's very nice i usually use the stand like like this with my flute stand and clarinet or soprano but sometimes I don't want to bring it this is so heavy and I'm only playing flute for eight bars I bring this I also want to show my current case Marcus Bona saxophone case this is a pretty cool case isn't it I've heard someone told me this looks like um, like Landoseru which is a Japanese elementary school student have this red and black red leather bag and it looks like this it kind of looks like this but it's cooler than that <laughs> Here is another great feature about this case. So this case has a huge pocket right here. It can fit scores or any books or big band charts. This storage is huge. But if you don't need this storage, you can take this out easily. Like this. One time I had a gig in Japan and I visited my parents' house and um, and I thought this part was too heavy so I took it out and put it in my room. I was I went to gig like this and every was everything was great. I came back to States and I'm like, oh where is that pocket part? And I called my mom, but she couldn't find it. And, and I called all the hotels in Tokyo and other cities. I couldn't find it. Keep in mind, this material, red leather, is very rare. So it's hard to make. It takes so much time to make this case. So I had to wait half year to make this case delivered from Brazil which is this Marcus Bona is from and I was like oh no that was so useful I can't believe I lost it and maybe two years later my mother called me and oh I found your red pocket and since then I decided to not detach this part because I don't want to lose it this is such a cool feature of this case so whenever I see people take it out but I suggest not and don't lose it if you detach I said I had to wait half a year to get this case but there is a pre-made one like the simple color like black um, I think you can get it right away um, I'm just letting you know I'm not sponsored or anything about this case so I just love it so yeah I'm not trying to sell you I'm just saying what's good about this case because it's great I've been using this for a minute, so it's not the cleanest case ever, but it looks like this inside. 
Here is one useful tip for my friend saxophone players out there. So these sponge right here, B, B flat and C, this supposed to protect your instrument according to my favorite repairman. Okay, so I have read case. and two straps, two neck straps, because I'm too scared someday this might be broken and I have to use shoe race or something. Also, sometimes my friend saxophone player forget their neck strap I can borrow. Um, Um, question about neck strap and I use bird strap. B Air is the another name. It's a Japanese company but you can order online and um, this is wonderful strap company and I've been using for years and you can choose the materials, color and the width of this Part, or you can even choose the string color um, or hook material and the color. It's a very fun um, company. And the person who made this strap for me put my name here too. But unfortunately, the person who was making this strap passed away very recently and he was only 50 something years old very nice guy um, but his wife decided to um, take over his business and it's still in business so please check out B Air it's very important to support some company like that and um, I I appreciate their work and everything. So my spare strap is, uh, this is a Dadario strap. I thought it looks very cool, especially the hook. But the problem is it moves too much. I was using this for a minute because it looks very cool, but it moves, so I have to constantly adjust. So I hope they fix it. Please. I have cleaning the swab, very important. and oh this one i wanted to introduce to you i recently got this voyager by boston sax shop and this has a reed cutter it's, it's a brilliant idea reed cutter you can if the reed is too hard you can adjust also You can adjust spring, the saxophone spring. If it's not in place, you can adjust. I've tried and failed so many times when I try to adjust my spring with my finger and then you end up breaking it and then go to the repairman. Oh, sorry, but I think this might help. I've never used this yet. Also, this has different size of screws for your saxophone. I'd rather not to do this by myself, but it's nice to have this handy in case something happens. So far I used this for my watch and my car key. <laughs> it works that, that way too, so it's very nice. I have two cork greases and mouthpiece, mouthpiece cap, and ligature. I don't know why 
it's not in place but i have always have this and that's about it this is what's in my case it's also nice to have a case it stands by itself like this on this side usually case stands by itself this way but sometimes some case doesn't stand like this way when you are waiting on the train you want to take this off from your back and then put like this and then put your hand here so this is perfect and you can carry like this or you can carry like a backpack so this is what I usually do I go to gig like this thank you so much for watching I hope you liked my video and please leave me a comment if you like it or any questions or what kind of video you want me to make for the future thank you thank you so much for watching my channel if you like the video even a little bit please don't forget to subscribe thank you